Frank. Hello. I'm Frank Black from Monroe High School, and I have an appointment with Mr. Morgan. You're the young man who's writing the article for the school paper. Yes, ma'am, that's me. I want to know everything there is to know about being a pilot. <laughs> what airports does Pan Am fly to? Uh, what does a pilot make in the end? Who, who tells them where they're going to fly to? Whoa, 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 so I'll just take them one at a time. All right. What does it mean when one pilot says to another pilot, what kind of equipment are you on? I just want to know what kind of aircraft you're flying. Is it a DC-8, 707, Constellation? And, and what about those ID badges that I've uh, seen pilots wear? Well, every pilot has to have two things with him at all times. One is his airline personnel badge. looks just like this one here from Pan Am. The other one is their FAA license. And that looks just like this. Oh. Do you think I can make a copy of this to put into my article? Oh, Frank? You can have that one. It's three years expired. Oh, thanks. And what about your ID badge? Do you have an extra one I could borrow? Oh, no, I can't help you there. It's a special order from Polaroid. The only way to get one of those is to become a real live pilot for Pan American Airways. Pan Am, may I help you? Yeah, hello, I'm calling about a uniform. Calling for purchasing. Thank you. Purchasing. Um, I'm a co-pilot based out of San Francisco. I flew a flight into New York last night, but the problem is I'm headed out to uh, Paris in three hours. How can we help you? I sent my uniform to be cleaned through the hotel, and I, I guess they must have lost it. They lost a uniform. Happens all the time. Go down to the well-built uniform company at 9th and Broadway. They are uniform supplier. I'll tell Mr. Rosen you're coming. You look too young to be a pilot. I'm a co-pilot. Well, why so nervous? How'd you feel if you uh, lost your uniform first week on the job? <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Uh, Pan Am's got lots of uniforms. Uh, it's going to be $164. Great. I'll, uh, I'll write you a check. Uh, sorry, uh, no checks, no cash. Uh, you'll have to fill in your employee ID number, and then I'll bill Pan Am. I'll take it out in your next paycheck. Even better. Dear Dad, you always told me that an honest man has nothing to fear, so I'm trying my best not to be afraid. I'm sorry I ran away, but you don't have to worry. I'm gonna get it all back now, Daddy. I promise. I'm gonna get it all back. Are you a real life pilot? I sure am, little lady. What's your name? Celine. Celine, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Have a great time in Paris. I always do. Excuse me. I'm John Modica. I manage this branch. I want to thank you for coming in and using our institution. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, John. I'll be back again. Good. Have you stayed with us before? Ah, uh, no. I've been primarily based on the West Coast. Is it all right if I write you a check for the room? No problem, sir. Great. I just wonder if I could write you a personal check. For airline personnel, we cash personal checks up to $100. Payroll checks, we cash up to $300. You say $300 for a payroll check? Dear Dad, I've decided to become a pilot for Pan American Airways, the most trusted name in the skies. They have accepted me into their training program and told me that if I work hard, I should earn my wings real soon. Please get in touch with Joanna Carlton from the 10th grade. Tell her I'm sorry that I could not take her to the junior prom. Love, your son, Frank. Check here, I'd like to cash. Certainly. Thank you. Uh, 
Excuse me. I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you have the most beautiful eyes I have ever seen. Yeah, I do get that all the time. <laughs> How would you like it? <laughs> 